Hey everyone, today I want to show you how you can launch Synesthesia scenes straight out of Resolume using OSC shortcuts. This is a great technique to mix all of your Synesthesia scenes in with your pre-rendered content. To do this, you'll require a pro license for Synesthesia as well as a copy of Resolume at Touch Designer. Before we begin, be sure to download the Touch Designer file I linked in the description. This file will act as our bridge between Resolume's OSC output and Synesthesia's OSC input. If you're not familiar with OSC, check out the link I added in the description on that topic as well. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. To explain this file a little bit, Resolume reports the state of the app using parameters to explain things like clip position, selected clip, and many other factors. These parameters don't exactly play nice with the Synesthesia format, so we're going to create our own format that we can use in the custom OSC output in Resolume. <coughs> Checking out this chop here, we can see that we're really just waiting for Resolume to report certain values, a 3 or a 4. These map to a selected clip or a clip launch, um, and it basically just runs through our custom template and pulls out the scene name and a preset preset name if applicable. So now that we have a basic understanding of how this file works, we need to configure OSC in both Resolume and Synesthesia. We're going to set up Resolume to send OSC out and Synesthesia to send to accept OSC in. Uh, if you scroll out here to our main project file, you can click on the project and go to the OSC tab and you'll see there's parameters for the input address, input port, output address, and output port. Um, you can likely leave these as defaults and we can just jump into Resolume and Synesthesia and copy those there. Uh, if you know what you're doing, <coughs> you're a more advanced user, then you can go ahead and change these, but for now we'll leave these as is. First, let's configure Synesthesia. We want to map our OSC output port from this touch designer file to the OSC input port of Synesthesia. So let's go ahead and copy and paste our output port, which is 5000. And we can head over to Synesthesia, go to our settings tab, go down to the OSC settings, make sure the OSC input is checked. And then from there, you can copy and paste our OSC input port. Now that we have that done, we can do the same for Resolume. So we want to map our Resolume OSC output port to our Touch Designer OSC input port, essentially making this a bridge between the two softwares. So let's go ahead and copy and paste our input port, which is 6000, head to Resolume. I've set up just a simple composition here with some content. And we can go to our preferences, down to OSC. And then from here, you want to make sure you have local host set as your, um, your server, and then the output port will be 6,000. Make sure that's checked. And from there, we should be all set up to start sending messages. Now we can hop back into Synesthesia and start selecting some scenes to include in our Resolute composition. I'm going to pick one of my favorites, and let's go ahead and create a new preset. From here, let's go ahead and take a screenshot of our preset, as well as write down the name of our preset, and we can get the OSC path to our scene by clicking the OSC button in the, in the corner, going to our library, and clicking on our scene. This we also want to copy down, as we'll need the scene name for our custom paths in Resolume. Now let's go ahead and hop back into Resolume. We want to bring our synesthesia scene into our composition we can do that either with a spout source or a blank. I would recommend using a spout source for now as that will bring in the synesthesia scene exactly on that clip and layer. Um, a blank can be used for some more advanced techniques, but for now let's just use a spout source. Now on that synesthesia source we just added, we want to go ahead and add our custom OSC shortcut that our touch designer bridge will understand. So let's go up to shortcuts and down to edit OSC. A quick hotkey to do that is control shift and O. Now select our synesthesia clip and right click, create OSC output shortcut. 
Now you want to make sure that OSC output is checked and you want to change this dropdown to custom address. From there, we can add our custom shortcut. Um, by default, the touch designer bridge we created will remove the first two paths. Um, so just out of convenience, I usually use sent slash sin slash launch and then the name of our scene. So in my case, that's circuit bending and then slash the name of the preset we just made. So in my case, my preset. So the total path ends up looking like slash sin slash launch slash circuit bending slash preset. Um, from there, we can just hop out of the OSC shortcuts. And next, we want to create a thumbnail for this clip so that we know exactly um, which clip this is when we're in our show and quickly parsing over our content. So there's actually two ways to update the thumbnail. Um, because we took the screenshot, which I tend to prefer, so you have a bit more control, you can right click the clip, go down to thumbnail, and hit load from file. Our synesthesia screenshots by default will go into your pictures folder and synesthesia-screenshots. So here at the top, we just have the little screenshot I took and we can hit open. And there you go, that will give you um, the thumbnail from the screenshot we took, or another option would be to launch the actual spout source so that it's inside of Resolume. And then you can right click again, go to thumbnail and just hit update, which will use whatever your current output video is for the thumbnail. And that's really all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more shortcuts to my composition just so we can test them out. While I do that, there's a few things to note. The first being that the OSC shortcut will not follow the clip around if you move it. So if you rearrange your composition, it's likely the OSC shortcuts will be out of place. So I usually recommend to get all of your content in the place that you want it and then go back afterwards and add the shortcuts. Secondly, you can only have one spout source active at a time out of synesthesia. So if you're trying to select two clips, it'll only play the second clip. Something I do to remind myself about this is you can actually right click the clip in Resolume and add a coloring to it, which just gives me a visual cue that that is a spout source coming out of synesthesia and not just a regular old clip in Resolume. And one last tip to keep things a little more organized is to rename our synesthesia sources to the scene name and even the preset name if you have multiple presets. Um, it just keeps things cleaner and easier to read during our show. With our composition setup, we can go ahead and check that all of our shortcuts are working properly. Um, that concludes our tutorial today. So feel free to like and share. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I know this is a fairly advanced technique, so it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to when it comes to adding it to your resolute workflow. Um, we also have a Discord user group where we'd be more than happy to discuss this technique and other techniques with you. So, so if you want to talk to other power users, then definitely join that, and I hope to see you there soon.